from an abandoned Cold War listening station to a mysterious building that looks like a UFO. Here are the most abandoned places in the world, part 5. Let's start with Teufelsberg, Berlin. Adjacent to bustling Berlin lies Teufelsberg, a now abandoned Cold War listening station. The station sits on top of a 262-foot artificial hill called Devil's Mountain, basically a pile of World War II rubble covering up a Nazi military college. NSA built the station on the mountain so they could eavesdrop on East Berlin. It was abandoned after the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989. Today, it is a graffiti-covered ruin overlooking the city. Historical tours are offered almost every day, providing visitors with views of both the radar domes and the city below. Anping Tree House, Taiwan Originally a British-owned merchant warehouse, this crumbling complex in Tainan City has been overtaken by nature, much to our visual delight. After the warehouse was vacated some time in the 19th century, a nearby banyan tree forced its way through the building's brick walls and concrete floors creating a tree house that looks like one of Anchor Watt's baby cousins. Visitors can explore the whimsical site for a few dollars. There's even an elevated walkway to help you navigate. New York State Pavilion, Queens. Flushing Meadows Corona Park in Queens has hosted two World's Fairs, one in 1939 and one in 1964. After the second fair closed, many of the buildings and pavilions were knocked down. A few still remain, however which you might have unknowingly seen from your plane window if you've ever landed at LaGuardia. Aside from the 12-story Unisphere, the most famous standing landmark is the New York State Pavilion, a UFO-shaped structure with an accompanying trio of observation towers. The pavilion may not be used anymore, but it proudly serves as a reminder of the futuristic themes of bygone world's fairs. The Island of the Dolls, Mexico, despite its status as a World Heritage Site, Xochimilco has reached a certain amount of internet fame for its Isla de las Municas, or the Island of the Dolls. Hidden among the area's many canals, the site is famous for the hundreds of dolls and doll parts hanging from trees and scattered among the grass. Although it looks more like a horror movie set than anything else, the Chinampi used to be the actual residence of a now deceased man named Julian Santa Barrera. After finding a dead girl's body in a nearby canal, Barrera collected and displayed the toys in the hopes of warding off evil spirits. Daring souls can hire their own boat, try to convince the driver to pay the island a visit, and view it along with the decaying house and dangling dolls safely from the water. Buzluja Monument, Bulgaria The Buzluja Monument was built toward the end of the Cold War by the Bulgarian communist regime, who hoped it would serve as a prominent and official headquarters for the Bulgarian Communist Party. The UFOS building was the site of many state functions, with Lenin and Marx posters and a red star ceiling setting the ambience. The monument was abandoned and closed to the public in 1989, preventing sneaky explorers from venturing in to gaze at the otherworldly dome. Farosha Beach Resort, Cyprus Once a popular beach destination for stars like Bridget Bardet, the resort town of Varosha was abandoned during the Turkish invasion of Cyprus in 1974. Inhabitants never returned to the beachside resort, which stands just two miles away from the United Nations buffer zone separating Greece and Turkey's administrative areas. The city of Famagusta is currently experiencing a meteoric rise in tourism, but Varosha has remained abandoned since it was hastily evacuated back in the 70s with model cars still sitting in garages and clothing still hanging in shops. The only visitors today are members of a Turkish military, journalists, scientists, and the occasional UN official. Grey Uyam, Indonesia. If you ever find yourself in the jangles of central Java, you might stumble upon a dilapidated church that's equal parts awesome and confusing. Grey Uyam, also known as the Chicken Church, the church opened its doors in the 1990s, serving as both a rehab center and place of worship for all religions. Unfortunately, construction costs soon became too high, and the project and building were abandoned in 2000. The Foul Foul has become something of a tourist destination these days, with murals adorning the interior, incredible views of the surrounding forests through the beak, and even a small cafe selling treats near the tail feathers. Before going to the last spot, please like and subscribe to this channel.
Let's go. Griffith Park Zoo, California. When it opened in 1912, the Griffith Park Zoo had a collection of 15 total animals and big plans to become a premier destination in Los Angeles. Despite several expansions and a consistent stream of tourist numbers, the site closed in 1966 and the animals were transferred over to the shiny new Los Angeles Zoo. As a result, Griffith Park Zoo transformed into an abandoned network of secret stairways, empty cages, and ruinous bear grottos that now have picnic tables set up so visitors can chow down like a grizzly. This is the end of this video. I hope you enjoy this. See you soon.